symbols are so significant. Now, here we have very significant personages. We have uh, President Truman decked out in full Masonic regalia. He was, as you can see on his apron, see this is not a square at the bottom of his apron. He has another emblem. This gentleman was a president and he was the grand master of all of the grand lodges in Missouri, in the state of Missouri. This is the Duke of Edinburgh in grand session in the lodge in full Masonic regalia. This is like the uber, uber European uh, in the UK. These are like uber European, uh, what do you call it, uh, royalty. Dukes and, and all that. They, their spiritual principle, which is most pervasive, the one that is most significant, is in fact Freemasonry. And here we have Truman in a dedication with accompanied by Freemasons dedicating a statue to George Washington. George Washington, of course, is also in uh, American history a Freemason. Okay? Very significant that Freemasonry was utilized to spread the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the onus of, of Western civilization. Now, the Adam and Eve story is the Western model of human cosmology and is perceived to be real by countless people the world over. This story is a vestige of many ancient mythologies pertaining to biological manipulation of DNA and the Earth's magnetic field as it pertains to light's trajectory traversed towards Earth. Now, Adam and Eve, if you, were go, if you were to go and ask people, do you really believe in Adam and Eve? And people would be like, hell yeah. I had a beginning. We all came from somewhere, didn't we? In, in a sense, we are looking arduously arduously for points of beginning to validate who we are. So in that, we are always willing supplicants for manipulation. Anyone can introduce a new myth to us and we'll just snatch it because we essentially don't have, we don't come equipped with it. They have to be an essentially taught to us. The, 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 the goddess in charge of language was Seshet. Seshet used to write. In many, uh, in many cultures, it is the women's job to impart the myth. Now, the ancient priesthood of old connected their own relative world to the physical world by way of symbolic psychology. They used words and numbers to demonstrate their dominion over material existence. Now, we see here, we have a depiction of the kingbu, or the serpent kings, you see these are serpents with crowns upon their head and they're holding uh, a serp uh, two serpents in the middle. Now this is an ancient symbolic reference to the, the, the spiritual symbolism and the spiritual meaning of the only thing that you have that really uh, 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 acts as the vessel for who you are. The vessel for the soul, the crystal for the soul, is in fact your DNA. Only 2% of your DNA is actually used for genetic information. The rest of your DNA acts almost like a skeletal structure for your flesh to uphold something. Your DNA is what, uh, what a LCD screen would be to a plasma television. It's a medium by which to house the light, right, in order for the hologram to exist. Everyone has the same uh, 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 essentially helical structure externally of DNA, and in that, the fact that we all share the same crystalline lattice of the DNA allows us all to communicate. That connects us to the biosphere. Everything in existence, plants, animals, all have DNA. So once your DNA is attuned in such a way, you can now, or, or, or certain circumstances in the environment are created, all DNA on the planet is connected, all consciousness is connected. Can we cut that light so I can just get the screen? Which, okay. This one here? Better? 
Okay. Okay, cool. The ancients depicted the serpent as a symbol of change because the serpent is stellar or sunlight. In the Adam and Eve myth, the serpent uses a ruse of coercion. This ruse symbolizes stellar light's ability to promote genetic polymorphic mutations in DNA, causing it to both change as well as block various mutations depending on the electromagnetic environment of the body. Now, the sunlight that you receive is actually the manufacturer of your holographic body. If you want to know where you come from, if you want to seek your origin, all you must do is look to the source of light. The source of light in particular that we are speaking of is the sun. The sun is known every 11 years to send flares down that are so powerful that they can knock out pacemakers, people die, people have heart attacks, all of this in 11 year cycles from the power that the sun brings. Now the sun shoots to our planet plasma as well as other particles which come within the magnetic field of the planet and begin to conform and become organic material. Okay? So the reason why your, your sustenance and the reason why you can live longer if you eat vegetables is because you're having a connection with solar imperative. Okay? So green when you when when they when they when they when in the Quran when they speak about El Kidr or the green one, they're speaking about the ever living life power or life force inherent within the electromagnetic field of things like chlorophyll, right? And things like uh uh, uh alkaline foods. And this is why all things begin at a tree. They always show you that. They have Adam and Eve at a tree, right? Now, they, Adam and Eve ain't at Kentucky Fried Chicken for sustenance. They're at a tree. If you were meant to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, your ass would have came down here with a bucket, right? <laughs> but you don't have that. You understand? You have the substance in the tree of life to sustain, essentially, the light conduit in which it, there's a resonation of light, okay? So now, if we look here, I attached a, a DNA strand to the center of this to also promote how the ancients knew that these serpents, or these actually, these are like some flying serpents mixed with like animals and all type of stuff to express the spiritual principle of the primal element, the primal aspect of matter. Matter is a beast of its own. We encompass who we are individually. We encompass spirit world and the physical world. We would be almost like the Minotaur would be in the Sagittarian, would be the beast up top and the physical being down below. So you must be trained in both realms. You must be trained in both realms in order to rise above one. Now, very significant. Everybody told us that how long does it take for light to get to us from the sun? Eight minutes, right? Didn't I, everybody I knew know that. You ever hear that? That it takes the sunlight to get to you eight minutes? Well, science has validated that the sun is 93 million miles away from us. Light travels at what? 186,000 miles. 186,000 miles, 186, miles per second. Now, from 93 million miles away, with light traveling at 186,000 miles per second, it takes light eight minutes to get to you. Meaning, the light that got to you is kind of old. Right? So, if that light is the news, then the lights from the old, the, from the far reaches of the galaxy that are coming from far other places or sources, they ain't even get here yet. So you don't even know what's going to happen. Right? Because that's the news. The light comes on the news. So now, I found something very significant.